Hi, you guys. This is, well, you guys already know it's um, how does your person feel about you right now for Sagittarius? Hi, Sagittarius. I hope that you guys are all doing amazing. Um, today is July 12th, 2021, but this is a timeless reading. So whenever it finds you is when it's meant to find you, you guys. Um, so Sagittarius, I had some intuitive messages. I just got done doing Leo's reading and I feel the energy around you guys' collective is kind of the same. Look, right as I say Leo's reading, look who turned over strength. I'm going to keep that. That's Leo energy. Um, you might have a lot of Leo in your chart. Your person could have a lot of Leo in their chart, but this is your guys's energy. It's fire, you know? Um, but this is the intuitive messages that came through. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like someone here is very, or your person is feeling left out in the cold a little bit. Like they feel like, I don't know. It just feels like, um, they feel disappointed in themselves about something. They were, they feel regretful and kind of sad over something. So I don't know what's going on with some of you guys, but this is just the energy that your person is feeling, right? Um, the regret and the disappointment is coming in like really strongly. Um, and I feel like it's not, not so much what this, something that this person did. I feel like it's what they didn't do. Okay. Um, so let's see, let's see for Sagittarius. Tell us about how their person feels, please. Tell me how their person feels, please. For Sagittarius. All right, here we go, guys. For Sagittarius. Mm, the hermit. Yep. All right, so someone's been in hermit mode. Your person. Kind of, you know, maybe spending a lot of time alone, kind of just tucked away in their own little world, essentially. Um, but I feel like this person had to... They kind of had to face some dark truths about themselves for some of you. Okay. Um, you know, come to terms with some things, heal some things, kind of go within for a while and, um, really figure it out, figure out what it is that they want, figure out more of who they are, what, you know, where they're going, what that kind of a thing, right? This feels like a very personal journey that this person has been taking. Um, for some of you guys, you know, this isn't for everybody, but, um, either way, you guys, your person wants to come forward. Remember I said out of the cold, um, they've done a lot of thinking here about something and I feel like they, they're ready to take some kind of a risk. They want to be bold here with the strength card. They're working up courage to do something, to do something here, Sag. This person has come to terms with this connection. That's what I'm hearing. He's following the light. Look, we have, let's see here. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have one, two, three, four cards. Okay. So you got the six of wands, two of wands. The Ace of Cups, my cup runneth over with love for Sagittarius, Ace of Cups, Five of Swords. All right. So with the Six of Wands here, obviously this is a card of victory. Um, you know, traditionally this card could indicate marriage as well. You know, this person could see you as marriage material. They hold you in very high regard, Sagittarius. It's like they hold you on a pedestal, essentially. Um, they have a lot of passion towards you. Okay. A lot of desire, a lot of passion. They're very passionate about this connection and, and you, um, which could be part of, you know, which might've scared them a little bit, but they do want victory here. You know, this is coming, this is coming out of the battle and it's after you win the battle and they're cheering you on and all that stuff, right? It's that. So this person definitely wants a victory here in this connection. Um, See, with the two of wands here, um, see how the light is shining through on the one wand, okay? And see all these birds up here? Birds, for me, you know, it's always birds indicate communication. So this, to me, tells me that maybe that was what your person didn't do in the past, was communicate how they felt or communicate what they wanted or I don't know. But it also indicates to me that it's it's communication coming in, okay? It's communication coming in. Um, and I feel like... I don't know. I'm just getting this energy of, um, like for some reason your person was very confused. Okay. And maybe it was just because they haven't felt something, this kind of connection before. I don't know, but they, they've set their intention and now they're manifesting this. Okay. They're manifesting this connection. So, um, I feel like they're a little nervous. They kind of feel like they feel nervous. Okay. Um, but they also are like in a hurry to get to you, to talk to you, to reach out or something like that. Okay. To fix things. Um, 
and they're ready to start some kind of journey with you here. Okay. They're ready to leave some stuff behind, you know, um, step out of their comfort zone a little bit, and they're ready to, to, to grab this wand right here and walk right into their happiness. Okay. Right into their happiness. You guys might live at a physical distance. That could be part of, you know, the equation here for some of you guys. Um, so that was something that this person was really thinking about, you know, the logistics of it all instead of, you know, following just their passion. But now they're following their intuition, their passion here. And they want to talk. They're ready to overcome any obstacle here. It's like whatever it takes, Sagittarius. Because it, then you have the Ace of Cups, okay? Because this is what they want to bring in, okay? They want to open up and tell you how they feel. I mean, this this is love. This is the Ace of Cups. It's like the deepest love, you know? It's like the Two of Cups energy. This is what this person is bringing in. They feel that there's a lot of abundance and potential um, around this connection, okay? They feel like they feel like they kind of hit the jackpot with you. Okay. Um, I feel like for most of you guys, your person has never took their eye off of you, but this eye, it's drawing me in. They've kept a close eye on you, you know, maybe through social media, things like that. But, um, you know, I feel like maybe that was helping them in what, in, in moving forward in, in, in whatever their journey was. Okay. That they were on. Um, and I feel like you guys have been kind of, you've known this person for a while now. Um, you know, and I feel like it's kind of like come to this point where it's like, it's a breaking point essentially. And maybe not, it hasn't been said out loud, but energetically it's like a breaking point in this connection. So this person knows that they have to, they have to come in like this with this Ace of Cups. Okay. And they, and they're, co and they're, and they are, they are with the Two of Wands, the Strength card, the, the Six of Wands. Um, you know, this card this person in the past, they were really kind of out for themselves, I feel like, you know, um, doing what they want, acted kind of how they want, um, kind of with no, reg no regard with, for some of you with like how their actions affected you or other people or, you know, but, but, but for you, um, and I'm, I'm hearing arrogance. So there might be a slight arrogance to this individual, you know? Um, you know, who knows? Maybe they're very wealthy. Maybe they're, you know, very, you know, they're used to being used by people or something. I don't know. But whatever it was, they were doing this. It's like a, it's like a, um, like a protection thing. It's like, it's false though. It's not real. And this person, they don't like how this all went down. Like they don't like how they feel. They don't like how they acted. They don't like how they treated you or anything like that. Um, and they want to make something right here, okay? He's holding the Ace of Swords right here, you know? This person has realized that, you know, their actions just backfired and it just hurt them, you know? And probably drove some kind of a wedge between you guys. But now they're coming in to, you know, open up. I mean, really open up. This is deep love that this person has for you. Deep love. You know, and the Ace of Cups, first and foremost, is self-love. And I feel like this person, like I said, they use like things like that as a protection mechanism. You know, it's like a deflection thing. I'm not a psychologist, but that's what it seems like to me. Um, when they start to feel or they start to, you know, they do something to like mess it up or something like that, you know. Um, but they can't fight this feeling anymore. They just can't, you guys. I mean, they really want to fix this. They really want to fix this. All right, tell me what else. How else the Sagittarius? Whoops. How else the Sagittarius is person feel, please? For Sagittarius, the Hierophant. Yeah, look. You know, the Hierophant. This person, you've taught this person a lot. You really have, whether you know it or not. You've taught this person a lot about life, love spirituality, maybe, um, you know, just how to be more just, you know, you got to put, you got to face your fears and ego sometimes. And when it's like a deep connection or you find someone that makes you feel this way, you got to open up. You can't be all closed off and try to like cause problems or do something to like, you know, back to crawl out your way out. Cause that's what I feel like for some of you guys that happened. But anyways, this person wants a, this is like a card of marriage. It's a card of belief, you know, belief system. 
I feel like you guys share a lot of the same beliefs, that kind of thing. Um, the way you want to like raise your children, the way, you know, just the way you guys think it's like very, you guys just like jive with each other. Okay. Um, but this person has a great amount of respect for you and they think you're very wise, very intelligent, you know? Um, but they want to shine light on this and they want to bring some truth into this equation here. Okay. I'm, I'm getting that here with the Hierophant, you know, I, I know the meanings of the cards guys. And I know that tech, you know, the Hierophant isn't truth you know it's not like the ace of swords but i read energy and i feel energy and i i trust my intuition and the energy i feel above all you know it's never steered me wrong so um anyways you guys but um yeah if this video is uh, vibing with you hit that like button it helps my channel grow and i really appreciate it um it also helps tie you in more energetically to any reader on youtube so if you like the channel subscribe to the channel and i thank you guys so much because i'm really trying to get this channel to grow so i can reach as many people out there and bring hope and love and light to everybody so okay eight of wands I, this is that communication i've been talking about they want to open up and they're coming in fast there's this there's this there's this it's like, I can't waste any more time. Too much time has passed, you know? And collectively, in all signs, a lot of, you know, uh, love, soulmate things, they're, they're opening up like this, you know? It's like, they can't wait. They know they're going to lose this person if they don't do something fast. And I feel like you guys maybe haven't been talking really or it's been kind of minimal. But this is like, when this communication comes in from this individual, it's going to come in quick, fast, direct, and... It's going to be passionate too, you know, but, but it's going to open up this channel between the two of you where you guys can start connecting on a deeper level. Okay. That's what I feel. That's why this hair fitness here, the Ace of Cups. I mean, you guys already have a deep, deep bond, a deep energetic connection, deep emotional connection. You guys have a deep spiritual connection. I mean, you could have past lives together. Yeah, they, they are, there's like a fire burning under their ass right now. Like they're trying, like they know they got to hurry. Um, yeah. And the bottom of the deck, look, three of pentacles. They want to build with you. They, um, they want to show you that you can trust them, that they have your back, that they're not going to crawl out out anymore, that they're going to be bold. They're going to face their fear and that they want to bring nothing but truth to this and honesty and justice, you know? The Ace of Swords right here, this is a sword of truth and communication and justice and all this stuff. That's what it is for me. This person's put a lot of thought into everything. But they do want something strong and long-lasting here. They want to build a solid foundation. I mean, look at this stone archways. Look at the pillars. I mean, that's a solid... Look at those stone floors. You know, and this person feels very proud of the achievements they've made. Um, of the progress they've made and the strength that they've, that they've, ugh, the courage that they've worked up, the strength that they've worked up. I'm sorry, guys. It's just like, it's, I get these, like, it's weird when I channel, but, um, I try to have to articulate everything that I'm feeling into words and what I'm hearing and, and, and make it make all sense. So make it make sense. See, even that doesn't make sense. <laughs> but what it is, is this is also an offer right here. You know, to me, this is like a, you know, the Ace of Pentacles, but you have the Ace of Cups right here. We already know they're coming in. Their they're cup runneth over for love, with love. Their heart is bursting at the seams with emotion for you. Um, All right, let's get some, a couple romance angels. For Sagittarius, please. How does their person feel, please? Ooh, these cards want to pop. For Sagittarius, please. Yep, see, very soon. Told you, quick. See, guys? quick and very direct too. Very direct. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay. This is a reading about how your person feels about you right now. So I feel like this person, if you know, you haven't heard from them, you will be hearing from them very soon. This communication is coming in fast, you guys. So for many of you be expecting a call or a message or something from this person. Um, because they, they want to, they want to bring this together somehow. 
communication, you know, they have some explaining to do. I feel like for some of you, you know, it's kind of like they have to really explain some things to you and open up and, and tell you why they acted certain ways. And maybe for some of you pushed you away or breadcrumbed you, or I don't know, but like whatever it is, this person feels like all they did was cheat themselves. It's like, you know, they don't even know why they did it. Oh, well, huh? Okay. Here we go. For some of you, it was a third party. For some of you, their attention was somewhere else. It doesn't mean they were in a relationship with this person or like it was serious. For some of you, yeah, maybe. But it could have just been, remember earlier I was talking about that playboy, player kind of energy or playgirl energy. Um, this person just wasn't ready to settle down. Their attention was kind of all over the place. You know, they still had wandering eyes, um, you know, and but they always knew, you know, I feel like. This is very similar to Leo's reading. I, you know, you or your person could have some Leo in your chart. There's a lot of fire here with this Leo energy too. But they've decided what they want, you know? And if it was a third party, it's it's no longer done. That's why we got that two of wands too. They've turned their back to, to something else and, and they've made up their mind about something. So past energy, <laughs> past, past, past. All right. Mm. Yeah, see, okay, for some of you guys, maybe that third party, they were, you know, in a long-term connection or something that they were ending and it was done or whatever because it was weighed down, you know, they felt maybe it was a codependency thing, you know, they were, I don't know, everyone's story is going to be a little different. So, you know, just put your pieces where they go. Um, but this person to me is feeling like super weighed down by this. Like, it feels like Ten of Wands energy. Like, it's a burden to them. They feel like this ball and chain is just, like, lugging around every day because it's just, like, they want to get something off their chest. That's what I feel with the Ace of Cups and all this. Then you have the child. Yeah, see, all they want is new beginnings here. It says innocent, brand new, creativity, spontaneous. This person, you know, this is a very spontaneous energy, too, the Eight of Wands. This could also indicate travel here with this, the two of wands and the six of wands. Um, you guys might live at a physical distance. That could be like, you know, a, a factor in this, you know, like I said, so, but it says inexperienced. This person is kind of inexperienced with real love, real emotion, non-toxic stuff. It kind of like blew their mind, you know, and it kind of scared them and sent them packing, but they've learned, they've learned. Um, it says a new perspective. Yeah, they have a whole new perspective on, on this whole thing. Um, it really woke them up in a sense. And it says boy. So, you know, maybe you have a little boy. Maybe they have a little boy. Maybe when you guys come together, um, and you know, they, they come in and, and, and passionately communicate and get this victory and, you know, um, and all that, maybe you guys will get pregnant very soon. Have a little boy, you know, um, but beautiful reading you guys. Um, you know, I hope that this connected with you. And like I said, smash that like button, subscribe. I thank you guys so, so, so much for your support here on YouTube. It's truly appreciated. Um, and if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, I am still taking personal reading requests. Um, you can find the info below in the description box. Just email me. It's gypsycalgirltarot at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram at gypsycalgirltarot. And other than that, guys, I'm sending love and light your way and have a beautiful day. Mwah. Bye, Sag.